So I grew up in St. Paul, and there is this rivalry between St. Paul and Minneapolis. And actually, St. Paul's a little bit smaller than Minneapolis. So when I grew up there, Minneapolis was sort of the big bad city, you know? <laughs> So is this your first time to Lake Harriet? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. This is one of our inner city lakes, one of many. As you've probably heard, uh, Minnesota is the land of 10,000 lakes, but there are close to 14,000 actually. Yes, <laughs> no shortage of water here. So these are our oceans, and uh, this is a great walking path, running path. I think it's about three miles around here. It's a wonderful area to enjoy because you're so close to downtown, you're so close to the airport, and yet you're in a little paradise right here. It's, it's quite a unique gem in the Twin Cities, I think. And tell me why the lakes mean so much to you. Well, I mean, I did just a couple weeks ago, I rode my bike around a couple of these lakes, which I think is a wonderful thing to do. But this lake has had a pavilion of some kind for many, many, many years. Oh, lovely. And the Minnesota Orchestra has given concerts here for as long as I know. And it's a beautiful little venue over here overlooking the lake. And, you know, the sound just resonates into the neighborhoods. And it's definitely a special place in the Twin Cities, I think. Lovely. The Twin Cities actually has a tremendous amount of opportunities for young musicians. I think it's a community that really values arts education, music education for children. So there was no shortage of places to get training and uh, inspiration. That was the same in my little city, mm. though far smaller than, than here. It was 40,000 uh, inhabitants and it still is among the pioneers when it comes to art in Denmark. Um, the music school there was so strong and there was also, as you said, about uh, Minneapolis and, and St. Paul. There was no limit to interest. Um, the kids with either theater or music. And actually theater was what caught me first. Really? Yeah. And I know that the theater in the Twin Cities is, is among the best in the country. Yeah. And I've actually been enjoying that more since coming back recently. You're still a young man and you're returning to your home area. That, that must feel great for you. It's pretty surreal. I, I didn't think this would actually happen. I, I didn't really predict it, you know. As musicians, we just sort of go off on our where, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. go where it takes us, you know. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. to play in a, in a concert hall that I remember going to concerts as a child. Um, For an audience special. that is one of the most enthusiastic audiences. Yes. I think there's a lot of pride yeah, in, in what that. goes on here in many ways. Uh, but the orchestra is part of that. Yeah. And, and they, they cherish, I think, the arts and this orchestra. So Nathan, I'm so glad that you've shown me this beautiful spot already. In Denmark, of course, because it's so flat, we always go by bike. Um, I don't know, maybe I could be tempted to go around the lakes, maybe with Andreas if he's on for that, that would be beautiful. I'd love to see you riding your bike right into Orchestra Hall. I'm sure we can arrange a biking uh, parking spot for you. Absolutely, all the Is way it? in, yeah, <laughs> with the score in the backpack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 